Lucy for Nation. Is it after like, he's down there? Flexion yeah. moves, you yeah. mean he's yeah. sticking yeah. his butt out towards yeah. the end? It sticks out. Mid-range. He's, he's yeah. pushed to the pelvic tilting. Okay, can I pull this up? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. I guess I do that too. Butt wink. So, uh, yeah. So, in a full squat, the butt wink is normal. Okay? So, what we are looking for here is that he... You know what the butt wink is? No. Yes. The butt wink is the, is the tuck under. So, if we're doing a regular squat... If we do a regular squat, we should be able to maintain neutral and have the parallel butt lines from shin to trunk to 70 degrees, maybe even 90 degrees. But as we start dropping down, it is completely normal to tuck under to get your full range. This is normal. When you come up, you should recover from it and recapture the lower glute. Yeah, it's all about control. Yeah, these are my Chuck Norris stretch pants. If you, if you tuck under too soon, you disempower the low glute. Okay, the low glute is the key stabilizer to the hip. So as you're squatting down, you want the low glute to capture you, to support you as you go down. If you tuck under, you disempower it, you sit on your upper glute, and then you're, you're using a poor pattern. Okay? Once you get past that 90 degrees into about 100, then you need it to complete the full range. And people who do the full squat, and this is part of the, what they're used to culturally, or if people just habitually do this, they have plenty of range, but when they're here, they're not in their end range. The people that, that sit here and work here can tuck even further. So it is important that people are not bottoming out to their complete end range because then they will sit, sink into the creep of their posterior uh, capsules and discs. Okay? But what we're looking for is the general population getting to about 70 or 50 degrees of knee bend with a single leg squat, 70 <coughs> degrees of bend with a two-legged squat, keeping everything in neutral. Okay? Right. So back to single leg squat. No, that's fine. Okay, so at what point are we getting the lumbar flexion give and or the leg valgus give? A little before that. Okay. All right, so maybe ballpark around 50, somewhere around there. Okay, so we have the front view watching the, the valgus and we have the side view watching uh, the lumbar flexion give. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do stuff. Okay. All right. We're all on the same page here. Mm -hmm. So okay. if it be, sorry. So to clarify, so his if he's posterior pelvic tilting early, you said that was a give of the uh, low glute. Something's happening. No, no, no. We don't know why that's happening yet. Well, so this is an important point. What I said was the posterior pelvic tilt disempowers the low glute, so it's a movement pattern that sets the hip up for injury. What we are seeing is a lumbar flexion give. We are seeing it because the pelvis is dropping into posterior pelvic tilt. All right, so we're not gonna name it as a posterior pelvic tilt give. We're calling it a lumbar flexion give. So the hip is, uh, well the, post, the pelvic tilt is posterior and the lumbar spine is flexing. That's all we know right now. We know that we're seeing a give in compensation. We're seeing the knee valgus collapse. Okay, we don't know the driver yet. So what we are doing, because we are doing driver assessment, but we're focusing on biomechanical correction. So to restate how we're doing this, we're finding the ASIS, we're moving halfway down from ASIS to pubic bone, we're staying below the, the uh, inguinal ligament. You gotta get on the inside of the rec fem musculature you want to use your finger pads, not your fingertips, because then that can be painful. You come in, you get on the front of the femoral head. The palm goes on the back of the acetabulum, and I'm gonna do a physical correction, a biomechanical correction of the hip. And I need to dance with the joint, so I need to allow a weight shift. So weight shift towards me, and now start to squat. I feel like I'm like, yeah. I feel like yeah. I'm like falling that way. Feel, which way do you feel like falling? To that the way. left. Yeah. Okay. His foot's going the opposite the way. Footway's sure. going that way. How did the valgus do? It's still there. Still yeah, there. Still there. Yeah. What was the lumbar spine like? Rotating. Rotating. So it changed. <laughs> so now let's see if I was pushing him. Let's see if we can allow a little more weight shift. No. Back up. 
So how's the lumbar flexion give though? Less. Lumbar flexion gives less, but now there's a whole different trunk compensation. How did the valgus do there? It got better. It could go lower. So the valgus got better. So helping the hip help the lower extremity, but the lumbar spine started doing other crazy things. Okay. So we're going to go really rogue. We're going to go Clinet 2 style right now. Let's see what happens if we do the iliac crest, the pelvic, wait, pelvic compression, feet down. This is what you have to do on the yeah, capstone. Back and forth anyway, yep. So. Yep. You have to go right through it. Okay. Now I'll go. Shit. Yep. Oh. Wow. Look at you wow. So wow. How did the leg look? <laughs> so much better. So much better. Okay. So, driver assessment. What's our conclusion right now? Wait, wait, wait. What's the driver? Lumbo pelvic. Do we know why? No. No. But what is lumbopelvic affecting? Your lumbar and yeah. lumbar. Yeah, the back and the leg. Okay? But if we provide external stabilization to the pelvis, the whole motion cleans up. Let's try a cue. What's that? Let's try a cue. That's going really rogue. Um, do we want to do glute need strengthening? Because we saw there was a valgus give. Would we want to do glute need strengthening? We just did driver assessment. What's the clinical priority right now? Lumbopelvic pelvic region. Do we need to do glute meat strengthening? Maybe eventually, but not right now. Not on the two you're going to give them tonight. Not on the two you're going to give them tonight. We need to focus on the driver area. So you are a horrible example. We'll save you for next week. All right, go away. Anyone have a, a valgus deviation? I do, but I don't have one yet. Yeah, you have two, though. Yeah. Anyone else? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come on. Go right there. All right. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,